a very big good morning to you. How are you doing? Are you still having a hangover from last night's partying and grooving? <laughs> Please don't tell me you're still having a hangover. Wakey, wakey, get up already. Because it is another amazing time right here on yours truly, solely for your less than pleasure, Vicky Lonia Radio. Yes, it is time for us to... You know, um, you know, get ourselves into the realm of positive vibes, okay? Because whenever you hear that sick tune, then you know it's time for positive vibes. Then you know it's time for positive energy. Then you know it's time to begin to see how open the world is. Begin to see the different colors, the different shades of black, of white, of pink, of yellow, of all that. Okay, you begin to see how colorful, how beautiful the world is. If only you allow positive vibes to rule your day. If only you instill positive vibes into your world of principles. If only you would allow yourself to be open to the positive perceptions I really, really want you to be open to. Alright, all of me remains Vicalonia and I remain the queen of the MSC, your number one online radio host. And this is yours truly, solely for your listening pleasure, Vicalonia Radio. And the program is Rich to Call. Yes, time for the positive thing, time for the positive vibes, time to get you ready for your day, you know. Like officially getting you ready for the day. I want you to move ahead this great, amazing Saturday morning. You know, I want you to move around, spreading positive vibes here and there. Because usually Saturdays, uh, some most of us we take out Saturdays to rest, stay at home, uh, clean up the house, carry out sanitations here and there, do the things that we couldn't have done, you know, during the week. Okay, something like that. You know, have time for our kids, have time for our husbands, our wives, our boyfriends and girlfriends, our brothers and sisters. Have time for friends. You know, just it's basically more like a day where you get to just stay at home and do some things that you couldn't do before. So why would you it, just just you staying at home and doing all the stuff and you're just carrying around negative energy no we don't want that we want to give you we want you to i don't want that for you okay i want you to you know come out with this positive vibes around you, you know spread it all around the house spread it everywhere you go whoever it is you visit today whoever visits you today should be able to leave you with a better orientation a better perspective and of course that is the reason why brister call is right here for you so are you ready for what i've got for you today on brister call Okay, since you're ready, let me see, or rather, let me know if you really, really are ready. So, can we bring the action right now? So, let's 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 bring the action. Bring the action. All right, up we are ready. I can see that you. Are ready to go ahead with the rooster call right here on Vicalonia Radio. So today on rooster call, what are we talking about? <clears throat> Let me just you know, clear it up. My... <clears throat> Good. Today on rooster call, we are going to be looking at the power of forgiveness. The power of forgiveness. Okay. Do you know that when you don't forgive someone, you are causing issues for yourself? Do you know that? You know, it's not the person you're hurting, you know. You're, you're, it's not the person you are, as Nigerians would say in, in the pidgin language, not be the person, not be the person they do, not yourself if they do, me. not yourself if they do. Trust me, when you don't forgive people, when you have a grudge, when you have a resentment towards someone, you are taking the energy inside of you, the positive energy inside of you. You are converting it to negative energy. And when you have negative energy in you, you become sick. Jeez. You become sick, not just, you become sick, not, not physically sick. Okay. It could lead to that. But by the time you become sick uh, psychologically, mentally, in mind, it of, it of course affects you physically. Okay, look, harboring resentment or anger or this unforgiving, uh, un- uh, unforgiveness to someone really is not cool. So today on Positive Vibes, today on Rooster Call, let us look at the power of forgiveness, what you stand to gain when you forgive someone. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready for me right now? So let's go. You know how we do right here? It's always a compilation of quotes to buttress our points. Okay, I have me great famous quotes, whose quotes I have right here, and I'm just going to be reading them out for you and explain 
explaining what they mean. Okay, if we can, if they can say it, then that means it is worth hearing. All right, the first one here. Uh, just before I continue, just know that forgiveness actually is an action or process of forgiving. Okay, for example, just st- if um, it's actually a way. It it means uh, 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 to stop this feeling of anger or blame. Or blaming others, okay. So I really want you to be encouraged by this forgiveness quotes, okay, and and find the messages in this quotes really inspiring and motivating. All right. So moving on to the first quote here. This is by, of course, my favorite, um, my favorite quarter. I hope she's yours too. But if she's not yours, no problem. She's mine. It's my favorite. All right. Her name is. <clears throat> Catherine Pulsifer. Okay, now she said, we are not perfect. Forgive others as you would want to be forgiven. Very simple. We are not perfect. You're not perfect. Forgive others as you would want to be forgiven. Okay, now next one here is by um, Buffy Andrews. And he said, don't ever underestimate the power of forgiveness. I have seen it free people. Okay, it frees people. Okay, I have seen it lift burdens. I have seen it it, it lifts the burdens uh, that weigh them down. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Okay, and um, I have seen that it kept them moving on, all right? So when you forgive someone, it lifts you up. It takes away the burden off your shoulders and it keeps you moving on. All right, this next one here is by Laura Raskin and she, she quoted this as regards to marriage. She said, if you do not practice empathy and forgiveness for your actions, it will be impossible to practice empathy with others. If you do not practice empathy and forgiveness for your actions, it will be impossible to practice empathy and forgiveness for others. Where you cannot forgive yourself, where you have not been able to bring bring yourself to forgiving yourself for the things you must have done to hurt other people, okay? If you cannot forgive yourself, trust me, you will never be able to bring yourself to forgive others, okay? Now, the next one here is by Elijah Davidson, and he said, when a partner does not uh, does a mistake it is it isn't acceptable for the other partner to dwell on it and constantly remind the spouse of the mistake a lot of us make these mistakes boyfriends girlfriends husbands and wives when your partner when your partners make mistakes okay you just from some of you some of them are even okay forgiving you but as time goes on they just keep reminding you keep reminding your partner about it please if you know you're listening to me right now and you know you are one of those people who do that stop it okay it is absolutely wrong it doesn't it speaks irresponsibility and it speaks immaturity okay look you have to learn to forgive and forgive completely okay don't keep reminding you might not forget but that does not mean you should keep singing it as a mantra to the person that hey i forgive you for i forgave you for this this is what you did this is so you keep reminding the person please it is not wrong forgiveness okay makes one whole again all right okay still moving on i've got this one here by Luisa perini and he said the hardest thing in life is to forgive but hate is self-destructive if you hate somebody, you're not hurting the person you hate. You're hurting yourself. Forgiveness is healing. This is powerful. Forgiveness is healing. The hardest thing in life is to forgive. Yes, yes, yes. But trust me, what is worse is, is, is hate. Hate is very destructive, okay? When you're not forgiving someone, you're hurting yourself. You're not hurting that person, okay? Thank you very much. All right, this one here is by Stephen E. and Bruce. And he said, the qualities of goodness in a man... I believe include a broad sympathy for the human condition. That is an awareness of human weakness and shortcomings and a willingness to be better. Okay. All right. We are still right here on Rooster Call and the program. Uh, The program is Rooster Call and the topic is forgiveness. Okay. For those of you who are just tuning in. All right. Um, I'm talking about, I'm, I'm taking a quote from Stephen E. Ambrose right now. And he said, the qualities of a good, of, of goodness in a man, I believe, include a broad sympathy for the human condition. That is an awareness of human weaknesses and shortcomings and a willingness to be able to forgive them. A sense of responsibility towards others. A genuine modesty combined with a justified self-confidence, a sense of humor, and the most, and most of all, a love of life and of people. Yes, those are the qualities of goodness in a man. Okay? Forgiveness is a very good quality of a man who is filled up with goodness. 
All right. <laughs> the program is getting too far. Forgiveness. The power of forgiveness. All right. I've got this one here by Charles Dickens. And he said, one always begins to forgive a place as soon as it's left behind. One always begins to forgive a place as soon as it's left behind. All right. For those of you who want to be part of this conversation, for those of you who want to be part of this program, please, you can send your SMS right now to 070 eight seven eight four i repeat zero seven zero one zero five nine eight seven eight four all right uh, you can drop in your suggestions or even your own quotes all right because uh right about this moment i'll be receiving or rather i'll be reading out sms's brought in all right the phone lines are open once again zero seven zero one zero five nine eight seven eight four all right uh, still continuing i've got this great one here by george elliott and he said there are always people who can't forgive and able an able man for deferring from them Okay, there are always people who can't forgive an able man for deferring from them. Great, quite simple and understandable. And the next one here is by Randy Alcorn. And he said, no matter what you've done, there is no sin beyond the reach of God's grace. Once you have accepted Christ's offer of forgiveness, hmm, no matter what you've done, there is no sin beyond the reach of forgi- of God's of God's grace. Once you have accepted Christ's offer, of forgiveness amazing powerful okay now the next one here is by um lr shelton and he said because of god's grace his unmerited favor towards us he freely forgives the blackest and vilest of sinners who comes to him through christ because of his grace and because of his love for us he is able to forgive us remember i told us last sunday that we should walk in love when you walk in love that means you walk the way christ wants you to work and if you are filled with love if you are filled with christ-like life trust me you'll be able to love others as yourself and you will be able to freely forgive one the power of forgiveness it is a very powerful one all right i'm going to be taking a couple of um sms's coming in right now all right so i've got this one here by donald and he said um hi vicky great program uh i want to say yes what you're saying what you're saying right now is a very great topic forgiveness is a very powerful characteristic a man is supposed to have okay thank you so much all right uh, moving on quickly i've got this one here by um chuku okay chuku is saying hi vicky um for me I don't think it's easy for one to forgive another person, especially when you have been hurt the most. I have someone I have not forgiven, and I don't think I'd have the strength to forgive that person. But with your program, I think it will be able to help me. Thank you so much, Shuku. I'm so grateful that my program is really, really going a long way to change your mind and perspectives. Yes, that's what I mean. Positive vibes. Positive vibes is very, very, uh, is very, is a very good thing for us to have in our daily lives. Okay, I'm going just going to take the last sms here and this one here is by ibeto um ibetoa okay ibetoa says hi vicky good morning great program you have for me i know things say not easy thing no but when you but when you come the forgive person the person go come they use you to play anyhow oh well i'm so sorry ibetoa that you feel that way uh really i'm really so sorry that you feel that way but please allow the power of positive vibes take over you and trust me you're going to see life from a better perspective all right uh, that is all the sms i can take for now i know i've got a couple of more but um i, I really can't take them all okay <laughs> i don't have much time all right this is i'm going to be dropping the curtains right here on the program risk to call and i do hope and believe that this quotes of forgiveness have really helped are really going to has really touched you and you would apply them in your daily lives uh, around of mr remains vicalonia and this has been a great uh, edition of risical with you you can share out this podcast for others to listen to and be motivated and inspired and and driven to forgive whoever it is that they have not forgiven stay tuned because this is vicalonia radio and i always remain your number one radio host vicky lonia more programs coming up your way Thank you.